everyone and welcome back to another video. So you might notice that today I'm in a different space than normal. I am in my shop, Theodore's, which is a bar and a market and kind of like a little restaurant in a historic area of Winston-Salem, which is where I live. I wasn't necessarily planning on doing this video today, but we spent so much time decorating and getting the shop ready for Christmas that I figured I would do a Christmas, like a holiday shop tour for you guys, just because I'm so excited about it and I want you to see it and it looks really beautiful. So I think this isn't gonna be a crazy long video, but I wanna get straight into it and just show you the decor. It's amazing, it truly looks so good. So I'm very, very excited for you guys to see it. And yeah, let's get right into the tour. So if you guys watched our video for when we first opened the shop you will have seen this patio area which is outside of our building and then this is the section of the building that our shop is in and then our coffee shop is actually right below this and I can walk down there and show you guys a little clip of that too because I know you guys are always asking about my businesses and stuff so I do want to show them a little more but yeah so you walk right in and the decorations start like right as we walk in so First thing, this really pretty garland. I used a lot of like black velvet ribbon and kind of like red, green, and black were the colors. Oh, and then like a little bit of blue too. I wanted to add in there, but those are the main colors. So um, like I said before, if you saw the other tour video, you will have seen more of like an explanation about the furniture that I collected and how I thrifted it all and where I found it and everything like that. 95% um, of everything is antique or thrifted. This table is actually bespoke. We had this made because I couldn't find one long enough. Um, but yeah, the decorations in here are really simple, but um, I think really pretty. I love the garlands that we have hanging from the beams. The space itself is already so pretty that it's not like there's a ton that you need to do. Um, I mean, really, this is just so stunning already. You just kind of want to add a little bit and not go overboard. So a lot of greenery, some velvet, um, and then I got to get this tree lit up and decorated. <laughs> I haven't done that yet, so ignore that one. But um, other than that, it looks really, really cute. And then this is the bar side, and this is our market side. And I'll take you guys into the bar first. So right away, when we go into the bar, you can see the Christmas tree that I picked out. And this Christmas tree is actually from Target. <laughs> um, it's a fake tree, which I felt like was best for the space and we can use it year after year. And it's actually a pretty good fake tree. I definitely could put more ornaments on it. Right now I just have these little glass pine cones and then um, red ribbon, red velvet as the topper and then lots of tinsel. I love the look of tinsel and I really liked how this tree was kind of like slightly flocked um, with the fake snow but not too too much. And then that was kind of like the focal point and then I just did little accents in the rest. So above the bar you can see I did a garland and then more velvet ribbon, which looks really pretty, just kind of simple but festive. And then I did a similar thing right here with um, the ribbon and the garland. And I just really like the way that it looks. And I have little twinkle lights, but unfortunately they've burned out already. <laughs> so I need to put new batteries in them. But I think that that looks really cute and I'm a big fan. And then um, the rest of the stuff is kind of just smaller decor. So I did these little blue velvet ribbons on the candlestick right here. And then these two matching wreaths that I'm obsessed with. You guys, the lighting is terrible right here, but if you can see, they've got like oranges on them, um, like dried sugared oranges, which I just love. And then a little bit of greenery and then the ribbons. Um, and then I have the matching one over here, if you can see it a little better. Some more ribbon, a little tree. I put some baskets under the tree because I thought that was kind of cute and worked with the vibe. And then another little tree over here. And then in this room, the only thing I've done so far is these little Christmas tree topiaries that I put on the tables. 
I still think that I want to put a tree in that large urn back there. Um, I just haven't found one that fits yet, but that's really the only plan I have for in here. The majority of it is kind of in this space. And then um, over on the market side, I have all of my Christmas goodies out for people to shop and buy. And I will show you guys that too. Okay, so that was the bar side and the entryway. I think now I'm gonna take you guys over to the market side, which is where we serve food and people can also browse through the little market and pick out goodies to take home and stuff like that. We saw a lot of like local things and then some things that I've sourced online. Um, and then I may also take you downstairs really quick and show you Dojo's, which is our coffee shop, um, because we just decorated that too. So a lot going on, but I'm gonna take you to the market really quick and just show you a very quick zoom around in there. I don't think I'm gonna talk in that one though, because I have um, people working over there and I it's just kind of embarrassing. So <laughs> I'm just gonna film it and you guys will get to see what it looks get like. To the market, you literally, also I love this little thing up here, but you just leave and walk right across and it's this door right here. And we'll go ahead and go in.